Are you struggling with being disciplined? If so, watch this video till the end. I'm going to give you a bunch of tips and tricks that will help you be accountable, stay disciplined, and actually reach the goals that you establish for yourself. Welcome to the video, guys. My name is Sebastian. This channel is a lot about travel and fitness, but it is also about accountability, discipline, motivation in a way, and success because all of these things together allow us to build the life which we want to live as opposed to if we are not disciplined we're not accountable for ourselves and we don't have any motivation and we just go about creating goals and constantly failing then the life we say we want to live is a lie to be completely transparent it's not something which we actually want because if we did then we would take the steps that we need to take every single day. I know this is a bit of a weird angle for the shot, but I hope that it's not bothering you. I find that driving is a great place to create videos. I get a lot of good thoughts when I'm driving and also it saves time. It bundles activities because I've got to drive regardless to go where I'm going. And this way I can produce content and get the message out to you. So today is Sunday morning. It's my day off from the gym and from Muay Thai. So we've got to get active, but not in a sport. I'm currently cutting down. I started my diet with 90 kilos and my goal is to get in the best shape of my life. Now, I don't know exactly where that's going to take me, but I suspect it's going to be back down to 80 kilos or 78 kilos, somewhere around that range. And my goal right now in terms of cardio is not actually cardio, it's just activity. So I need to do 10K steps per day. The thing is, I had a few weeks this year where I couldn't reach this goal. So I actually need to do a bit more to get my yearly average up. So the goal is around 11, 12, 13K steps. So what we're doing now, not even nine o'clock yet, it's 8.50 a.m. We're going to go to the boardwalk because luckily I'm, I'm very thankful to have a boardwalk very close by, 10 minute drive. And we're going to walk along the boardwalk. Today is pretty sunny. It's a bit windy, but we still get to see the sea, get some vitamin D. So what better way to start the day? And this gives us an opportunity to talk about lesson one in discipline. Yes, being disciplined is super important, and that means doing things which you know you have to do even when you don't want to. But we can, we can be friendly to ourselves and try and create an environment where doing these things is as easy as possible. For example, if I had to walk around in a bad neighborhood, it would be much less interesting for me to go and do my 10,000 steps. So maybe what I would do instead would be invest in a treadmill to have at home, which would allow me to be on my computer, watching television, whatever it was, that would allow me to do the 10K steps without having to go and walk around in a bad neighborhood. Thankfully for me though, I've got the boardwalk so I can go by the sea and do my steps. And what better chance can I have of completing this goal? It's an absolutely lovely place. So I can't really complain. I'm absolutely blessed to have the chance to do this. So getting the 10K steps in is much, much easier. I would get them in regardless. I actually do have a treadmill at home, even though I don't live in a bad neighborhood. So I would get the, the steps regardless. I will see you in a little while at the boardwalk. See you there. Here we are at the boardwalk. This light is bright, but I think you can still see the wonderful sea behind me, maybe. At least you can see the beach, I think. And it's not windy at all for the moment. I was supposed to go swimming, but I thought, nah, it's gonna be too windy, too cold. Turns out it's actually pretty good, but now I don't have my swimming gear. So no swimming today. I am just gonna enjoy this lovely walk. Not too many people. This is probably going to get quite busy in just a few minutes, possibly. So let's enjoy it. Get active. Think about this. You say you want to, let's not even say be rich, but let's say you believe you don't want to worry about money. You say you want to have a nice car. You want to have a house with a pool. You want your kids to not have to worry about money. You want to be able to buy your mum a very nice Christmas present. But instead of doing what you need to do, instead of working on your business, instead of learning the skill you say you want to learn, instead of learning Arabic, for example, or 
instead of taking care of your health on a Sunday, just like I am, you're going to stay at home on the sofa eating crisps and watching Netflix all day. And then you're going to feel bad at the end of the day, feel like crap, feel moody, feel unfulfilled. You're still going to repeat the same thing next Saturday, next Sunday, I mean. Now, trust me, this is something that I struggle with and I have gone through this paradigm a bunch of times, but it came to a point where I said, no, this is absolutely ridiculous because my actions don't match my words nor my wishes, so I need to change. So think about that for a while. I'm going to get on with my walk and I will speak to you later. amazing roaring sound in the background. That's the sea going absolutely mad. This is a really nice beach. It's the beach of the town where I grew up in, San Juan de Sturil. It's called Posa Beach, Praia da Posa, which is beach of the puddle. And it's a very, a very famous beach for the locals to surf and bodyboard in. So that's why you hear the ocean here with pretty good force. We're not gonna do any surfing today. Nah, we're just gonna carry on with our walk. I'm almost done with half of my walk, which is around two kilometers. And then we've got another two kilometers back, which is gonna be lovely because the temperature is actually increasing. And with the walking, I'm obviously getting warmer. And I thought it was gonna be an absolutely crappy day, but it's actually magnificent. So how can I complain? How can I not do my steps? There's absolutely no chance. See you in a bit. I thought I'd just sit here and have a little chat with you. Just ended my walk, all I need to do is just walk to my car. And that was absolutely magnificent. It's 10 a.m. I've already done close to 7,000 steps. My goal is 10, maybe slightly above. I got healthier, because moving is good for you. I burnt calories, which contributes towards my goal of getting in the best shape of my life, which is a form of work, because I'm trying to promote my transformation via YouTube, via social media, and that's something that's gonna garner attention and give me credibility in the realm of being someone motivational. Also, I produce content, so I'm filming this video. I filmed a bunch of B-roll, so more work that I was able to do throughout this walk. How can I not do it? All positives, healthier, did work, feel great, got sun, and even enjoyed it, obviously. Absolutely amazing, guys. So try to do things that are multifactorial that will benefit you in more than one way. That way you'll have less excuses to not do the things you need to do. And you'll also feel more compelled to do them. That being said, I'm starting to feel peckish, need to get some food in me, so let's get home. Back home, just went shopping. And now let's talk about some more very important aspects of being disciplined. So, as I said, you want to make being disciplined really as easy as possible for yourself. One thing that we can extrapolate from dieting to being disciplined is put yourself in the correct environment or curate your environment accordingly. So let's imagine you're trying to wake up early, be on the grind, you're trying to wake up early, go to the gym, you're trying to be healthy, take care of yourself. But every single day you're going to a bar or every single weekend you're going out, going to a club. Do you think you're in the right environment to achieve what you want to achieve? Do you think you're in the right environment to be disciplined? I mean, you can and actually you should be able to be disciplined even if you're doing that. You should go to the club, drink your water, go home, sleep as much as you can. But it's much harder. And that's the point. So even though I'm a big proponent of us being able to be mentally disciplined and do what we need to do regardless of the circumstances, I'm also not stupid and I understand that if you want to give yourself the best chance, you can also try and make life a bit easy for yourself or a bit easier for yourself. So here is where the dieting comes in. Eating well can be tricky. Not eating crap all the time can be difficult, but it's much, much more difficult if you're completely surrounded by crap. So that's why, even though I'm a big proponent of flexible dieting, when I'm dieting personally, I find it much easier if I'm not exposed to crap. So if I don't have cereal, cakes, sweets, ice cream, 
all of that stuff at home, it's much easier to stick to the diet. So here is what I bought. I will eat a bit of rice, maybe pasta, maybe, but you never know. Maybe I'll just stick to the potatoes. So let me just go through the shopping list. And this is a correlation between discipline and also you can have a look to see what I'm eating now that I'm trying to lose weight. By the way, I've already lost four and a half kilos in two months. So I'm pretty happy with that. Only thing I did was literally cut out breakfast, do 10K steps per day. And then my exercise regimen is four resistance training workouts in the gym per week and two Muay Thai workouts per week as well. So that's all I'm doing. Cashews, I mix in other nuts as well. Almonds, macadamia nuts, whatever it is. I don't eat a lot. Maybe I eat a handful per day usually. Eggs, I try to get the bio eggs just to help the chickens a little bit. And these I will eat one egg meal per day usually. Onions, amazing for flavor and they have very low calories. So I like to stick them in with eggs or meat or something and it's just amazing. Coriander, same thing, really flavorful. I mean, this with eggs is absolutely amazing. With any sort of meat, potatoes, whatever you want, that's a great way to get flavor and not get basically any calories in. Same goes for leek, also really flavorful. The only annoying thing about leek is that it stinks up the kitchen. Uh, that's very annoying. Then, mushroom, same thing. Nice flavor, virtually no calories, really good taste. You can mix them up, fry them, roast them, whatever you want. Now we get into the good stuff, the things that will actually fill you up and aren't just for flavor. Beetroot, I buy it already boiled because it's a bore to boil it and peel it. So this is already boiled and peeled, pretty cheap, very nutrient dense and very low calorie. So that's something that I love. Most times I literally just stick a fork in a beetroot and eat it before my meal is done, so while I'm warming up my food or something, and that will get me set. I'm a bit of a caveman when it comes to eating. Then, sweet potato, I will rotate between sweet potato, pumpkin, and potato. Pumpkin is usually my go-to when I'm really, really trying to cut the calories because that's virtually no calories as well. I do eat a bit of rice and a bit of pasta. It does depend, sometimes a bit of bread, but if I want to really feel full and not have as many calories, I will go to the sweet potato and potato. And again, if I had a bunch of bread or a bunch of cereal at home or cookies, I would much more likely go and get those as my carb sources instead of this very nutrient dense food, which is the sweet potato. And this is obviously going to be much more advantageous for me in a bunch of different things. Digestion, feeling well, satiety, nutrients. So. I mean, just make the right choices. That's all it comes down to. Then we've got mincemeat. Uh, I eat exclusively beef almost. I do eat chicken sometimes, but mainly it's beef. So this is beef mince. And then I've got a couple of beef chops as well. These are really, really good. Got a bit of fat in them, really nice flavor. They're perfect to grill, roast, or air fry it, which is what I've been doing a lot. Love that. So what I usually do is one egg meal per day, one steak meal per day, and then it depends a bit. Sometimes it's like a mozzarella light meal or a protein shake meal, or sometimes it's a second meal of beef. Really depends on the mood. We get into the fruit. Now, a lot of people don't like eating a lot of fruit during their deficit because it can be a bit calorie dense, but I, I really love fruit. And if we're talking about especially berries, they are not calorie dense at all. So that's one of my go-tos and they're really, really nutrient dense as well. But also I just feel like my digestion is better. I am much more able to avoid sugars and sweets if I have a lot of fruit in my diet because this is really, really sweet, especially pineapple. That's my favorite fruit in the world. So I keep a lot of fruit around me and I do consume a lot. Grapes, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, got some plums, they look really good. I don't eat these a lot, but when it's the season and you find some good ones, I highly recommend plums. Got some avocados as well for some good, nice fat. I like to do a tomato salad with those. Tomatoes aren't here, but they're in the fridge. I forgot, don't, don't kill me. Papaya, also amazing, nutrient dense, very tasty. Mango, I prefer these to be a bit green. I don't love when the mango is already very mature. Nah, I like greener fruit usually, and obviously the pineapple. So as you can see, this is all really nutrient dense food. It's gonna give me really good levels of satiety. It's gonna give me the nutrients which I need. It tastes good, it's all very flavorful. And honestly, this, this type of meal just makes me happy. If I look at my plate and I can see, wow, okay, this came from nature, this didn't come from a factory. That gives me a, ver a sense that I'm behaving well. And yes, I am a proponent of eating crap once in a while if you feel like it, but in general, 
eating good food makes you feel good as well. You can't really compare eating a pizza to eating a steak and potatoes. There's no comparison whatsoever in how you feel and even the mental aspect. So make life easier for yourself, make better choices. If you don't know how to cook, put in the effort because it's absolutely essential. Learn how to cook so that you can actually take advantage of these amazing foods which nature gives us and you don't have to constantly be buying processed crap, crap that comes from the store, is in a package, that's obviously going to be less good and less good for your mind as well. Help yourself be disciplined. Now that I'm done ranting, I'm just going to cook up some food. I'll, I'll show you a few clips and I'll be back to say goodbye while I'm eating. Okay, so here we are, my first meal of the day. It's now midday, I woke up at eight. We've got some mincemeat with mushrooms and onion. Then we've got some roast, well, air fried onion, leek, sweet potato. Got avocado and tomato with a bit of olive oil, salt and thyme. And here we have a nice big bowl of strawberries, raspberries and blueberries. That's gonna leave me full for a good six hours and I'm probably only gonna have my next meal at 6 p.m. or something like that. So really, really happy, very nutrient dense foods. They're gonna make me feel good, good digestion, overall good energy levels as well. So could not be happier, I'm gonna dig in. That's where I'm gonna end the video today, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope this helps you with your discipline conquests. Please let me know in the comment section what tips or tricks you use yourself to make sure that you stick to the goals that you have and actually be able to be disciplined in the easiest way possible. That is all from me, guys. I will see you in the next one.